Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host, Dave, and today we're going to talk about the subject of orange wines. Now, I've been asked on numerous occasions for many different subscribers to do a video on orange wines. And what's held me back is this category of wines can often be quite unusual and just a little bit funky. So I needed to make sure that I had the perfect wine to just show you how beautiful this traditional wine can be. So let's talk about where the term comes from and what exactly it means. In 2004, a British wine importer by the name of David Harvey coined the term orange wine. But really, that style of wine goes back thousands of years to the ancient Georgians who produced a wine that was orange in style. So how do we get to a wine like this? Let's talk about winemaking from a red, a rosé, and a white standpoint. Traditionally, when we make red wine, we crush the grapes, we leave the skins in with the juice for an extended period of time, so the skins color the wine and make it a red wine. If we look at a rosé wine, we take red wine grapes, leave those skins in contact with the juice for a very short time period, so it gets just a little bit of color. And we look at traditional white wines, the grapes are crushed, the skins are removed immediately, they can be used for other purposes, but the pure juice stays behind, giving us a beautiful, clear white wine. So what is an orange wine? It's used, or it's made from white wine grapes, but we actually leave the skins in contact with the juice, very similar to what we do for red, for anywhere from one to six months. So that's a very long period of time. And if we think at what the skins contribute, they contribute phenols and also tannins. And when we think about those two things, those are things that make a beautiful red wine beautiful, but in a white wine, it can make it quite unusual. It adds some nutty notes and some different flavors and certainly the presence of tannins that we don't normally get from a white wine. So that's why I said it's a very unusual category. It's gaining some momentum and it's kind of a hipster type of wine right now where people are seeking out orange wines because A, they're termed as natural wines because you kind of crush the grapes and let the fermentation do its thing, but also because they have a very beautiful, unique color. So the wine I picked from you today is actually from North Central Italy in an area called Emilia Romagna. So Emilia Romagna is famous for just two DOCGs. And when we think about DOCGs, that's Italy's highest expression of quality and tradition. So in all of Emilia Romagna, there's lots of DOCs, which is the level below that, but only two DOCGs. One's Pignotella, and then this wine is called an Albana Secco. So Albana is the grape, Secco is the style, which means dry. So an Albano Secco is a wine that's going to be quite dry on the palate. So where did this grape come from, Albana? Well, it was thought to be brought to Emilia Romagna from the ancient Romans. And the word Albana actually comes from Albus, which is Latin for the word white. The first documentation of this grape ever dates all the way back to the 13th century where they said this wine was powerful and had an excellent flavor. So I think you're really going to like it and I think you should seek out this type of orange wine. So let's take a look and see what we think. So the first thing we notice when we look at the wine is it's a very, very deep gold bordering on that orange color and it's getting that from the significant time on the skins. If we swirl it to liberate the aromas, the first thing that comes out of the glass is a little bit of apricot jam, some ginger. I get a little cedar note to it and a little bit of melon. So let's pass it across the palate and see what we think. Really delicious. So this Albano Secco has beautiful peach notes at first with a little of almost like a pineapple juice type of flavor, beautiful acidity mid-palate, but across the backside we get things like 
hazelnut and a little bit of savory herbs and almost like a little bit of a salty or a saline type of finish. Really beautifully complex, very well constructed and quite different from a lot of these kind of funky orange wines that really populate the market today. So I'm going to get back and try a little bit more of this Albana and I ask that you tune in next time because soon you'll know wine in no time. Thank you.